It's now a great pleasure to introduce Dr. Philip Cohn, Director of Libraries uh, at DIT and the current President of the Library Association of Ireland. Philip is a former Chair and Secretary of Connell, so he has played many, many roles um, in, in the sector, but is recently the, uh, 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 appointed the President of the LAI. And again, connecting back to some of what um, I think uh, Sarah was talking about, and maybe, for example, Kira's questions, certainly one of the ways as a profession and as a sector that we can um, establish our credentials and demonstrate our, our value is through our professional association. So I'm delighted to welcome Philip to talk about the LAI. Goodness, um, you were supposed to say two or three words, um, no pressure, I don't feel any pressure at all after that. Okay, can you all hear me at the back? Yay, good, okay. The red light's on already, I'm not sure if that's... <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't, don't look at the red light, okay. Um, okay, I'm, I, if you look at the programme, um, and, and I thought maybe this, I, I saw some of the draft programmes and I thought, well, maybe it's going to be a bit different in the final thing. But what I saw in the draft has actually come through to the final, um, final edition. And it's, this session is Inel's presentation slash LAI presentation. So um, it's, I, I feel a bit like sort of the mystery shopper or something. I'm just suddenly going to reveal what it is uh, we're going to talk about. So LAI, what's in it for me? Okay. Hold on tight. Okay. Um, last night at dinner, um, uh, a dynamic member of the uh, conference committee set me a challenge, and I love challenges, and I couldn't resist this challenge. So, Michelle, this one's for you. And it is 5 to 10, so we got there before 10 o'clock. Okay. It's a private in-joke, but Michelle will explain it later. Um, LAI, I'm, I'm, I'm not going in, sorry, Mary, Mary O'Rourke got sex into the conversation last night in her talk, uh, and she called it debauchery. Um, so I'm not going to talk about sex, and I'm not going to talk about debauchery. Nor am I going to be talking about Language Automation Inc., LAI, which is a games company. Uh, I'm not going to talk about them. And I don't know if you can see that, but that's a lie. That, in fact, is medieval lyric poetry. And I'm not going to be talking about uh, medieval lyric poetry. I know absolutely nothing about medieval lyric poetry. What I am going to be talking about is the Library Association of Ireland. And as it says uh, in our strap line, representing libraries and librarians in Ireland. And that's very important. We represent, we are the national representative body for the Republic of Ireland. And I apologize to our colleagues from the north. You have Silip Island, and we work very closely in partnership with Silip. I'm talking particularly to members in the Republic, the Library Association of Ireland. Okay, now I'll begin. You could ask, why me? Well, Carl's already uh, stolen that thunder as well. Why me? Because I'm the president of the Library Association of Ireland for the current year. And if you think that photograph is bad, you should have seen some of the others. Or maybe you shouldn't. Okay. We've had some audience participation. I thank Sarah for that. I'm now going to do a bit more. Uh, and it won't be as um, taxing as Sarah's, you'll be glad to know, or maybe not. Um, all I want to do is have a show of hands for some, some, uh, some questions. So we'll have the first question, first question, easy question. Who in the room, if you put your hand up, who in the room is interested in CPD activities? Excellent. Good. Why would you be here if you weren't? But good, that's the easy question, right? They, they do get a bit harder as we go on. Okay. PMDS. I work in the Institute of Technology, and we have PMDS. Now, I'm aware that in the universities, you may not be familiar with the term PMDS. How about appraisals, annual review meetings, one-to-one -one opportunities, Maybe once a year, twice a year, you sit down with your line manager, you talk about your performance, you talk about your development needs, and it's an opportunity for you to have that really engaged conversation with your line manager. Okay, who has PMDS or similar review meetings? 
excellent, excellent. Almost everybody, um, uh, and uh, but that that helps uh, for 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 the next few slides. Okay. We're here. This is the uh, inaugural uh, Connell Annual Conference. Who's going to use this conference as evidence in your PMDS or appraisal meeting? Mm, disappointing. Okay, okay. Good question. Maybe, maybe, maybe we could have a, a really in-depth conversation if there is time at the end. And don't look at the red light. If there is time at the end, maybe we can have a nice in-depth conversation about why you wouldn't use this conference. Uh, as evidence, but maybe, maybe not. Okay. You've been promised in, in the program um, uh, certificates of attendance, uh, and they will be coming, and uh, one of them will be an LAI approved accredited certificate of attendance. And the accreditation is very, very important because what we do, it's a rigorous process. We evaluate the learning outcomes, the aims and the learning outcomes of each of the CPD activities uh, that are submitted to us. Peer reviewed, quality assured, accredited certificate of attendance. And that's very important. And those come from the Library Association of Ireland. And hopefully those of you who will use this conference as evidence for your CPD activity in your PMDS meeting will use that certificate of attendance in, in as part of that discussion you have with your line manager. Okay, the final killer question. How many people in this room are personal members of the Library Association of Ireland? Goodness, I find that very, very encouraging. Thank you. You will be aware that not everybody put up their hands, and my task today is to convince you who did not put up your hands that next time I ask this question, you'll be there putting up your hand. Okay. This is the key slide. This is what I want you to take away and, and think about. Those of, you, those of you who are not members, why you should join, and also those of you who are members, why are you members? What is it you're getting out of this? Okay. The LAI, it's important. The LAI is an association for everyone, okay? All sectors, public, yes, public, but not only public. And there is this misconception, library association is just for members who work in public libraries. Public, academic, special, non-traditional. Non-traditional posts are becoming increasingly important as, as traditional uh, posts are becoming fewer. Uh, there are more and more opportunities for non-traditional posts being filled by librarians. The association is for, for people whatever grade of post you are or no post at all. And we do have unemployed members. We have special membership fees for those people. Qualified or not, professional post or not. In, um, uh, we, we, Elaine talked about all. We are, this conference is for all people who work in academic libraries. It is, the association is also for all members of staff, people who work, people who don't work, or people who call themselves librarians, information workers, or, or whatever. Okay. Full-time, part-time, permanent, or temporary, early, middle, or late career. It's for anyone applying for posts or people who are recruiting to posts. Employers increasingly look to uh, membership of the association as a criteria for selecting people for recruitment or for promotion. Anyone who wants to improve their career long-term and anyone who wants to do their current job better. I could ask who wants to do their current job better, and I hope to God you'd all stick up your hands. But please, that's what we're here for. We're here for this conference because we want to do our current job better. Okay. What's in it for me? I once had an interview where I was asked, was I a Cartesian or, a, or an, a Cartesian or an Aristotle librarian? What that was about was, does the world revolve around me or do I revolve around users? After I'd worked out what the question was, the interview was well over. But anyway, um, <laughs> so some people, the world does revolve around yourself. And yes, of course it does. But, but most of us, I think, because we are librarians, we recognize there are users out there and we're enablers and all the rest of these key words and metaphors that we heard earlier. But very important question, what is in it for me? Why on earth would you join an association? Why would you pay your subs? What is it? that you're getting out of that. Very important issues. Okay. So, what are the benefits? 
Six benefits here. Uh, they're all going to be on the key, uh, conference website, uh, so I'm conscious that time's uh, uh, against me, so I'm not going to go into any great detail. So they're there on the website. Please take a look uh, when you get home and see uh, what, what, what the detail is, and that'll help you convince you that, yes, your money is well spent, and or it will convince you that, yes, your money will be well spent when you actually uh, fill in the form and, and join. Okay, six elements. CPD, obviously CPD. It's an opportunity to develop work-related knowledge and skills through attendance at LAI conferences, seminars, workshops, contributions, mentoring opportunities, blah, 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 and PKSB. What's the PKSB? Hands up, who knows what the PKSB is? Yay! Two, thank you. PKSB. Professional, professional knowledge and skills base. I don't expect you to read all that. It will be on the website very, very shortly for the conference website. It will also be on the website of the Library Association of Ireland. PKSB, nice, uh, shiny brochure. PKSB is, is a, uh, it's an online tool that helps you record, manage, and plan your own CPD activities, your own CPD, CPD activities. It's a way you can take ownership of your CPD activities. You can record what you've done. You can plan ahead for the next six to 12 months or whatever. PKSB, I think, is a game changer. The, uh, the, the association is about to launch it, and it will be an opportunity for you all to get more engaged uh, with the association. You in this room are the first people to see that image. I was in Scotland earlier in the week and we, I was given this image and you can't see it on the slide but the top left and the bottom right say Library Association of Ireland and we've badged up this product. It's a product that's been developed uh, elsewhere, we've bought into it uh, and it's there as, a, uh, as part of your membership subscription, you will have free and easy access to the PKSB. So I would, I would urge you all, uh, when you've joined, uh, when you've renewed your uh, subscriptions, uh, use the PKSB and it will be there for you to uh, make the most of. Current awareness and networking, I'm not going to go through that, um, but uh, I've used the S word, I'll use the F word now, and Mary O'Rourke used the F word yesterday, fun. That's what networking is all about. Everybody's talked about the buzz at this conference, and I will confirm that. And again, I would add my voice to the congratulations to the organizing committee. I've had great fun at this conference. I hope you've all had great fun at this conference. Uh, and fun is what networking is all about. We're not allowed to call it fun. When, when we apply to, come away to conferences, when we talk to our uh, funders, we say, oh, I'm going, to have, I'm going to have to learn. I'm going to have two days of fun. I mean, I wish you luck with that one. But um, we can talk about networking, and that's what it's about. And there's loads of networking that's gone on at this conference. And there is fun, but there's also lots of informal learning there and exchanges of experience and understanding and the best practice and all of that. So yes, it's there, current awareness and networking. You'll have had in your conference pack, you'll have had these two uh, brochures, the associateship and fellowship of the association. Please take them home, look at them on the train, in, in the car, in bed, wherever, but please have a look at them and see um, see what they hold for you. How many people in this room are associates of the Library Association? Excellent, excellent. How many are fellows? Excellent, good. If I'd asked that question a few years ago, no one in the room would have stuck their hands up. The associateship and the fellowship fell into abeyance, but uh, thanks to a number of individuals who are in this room, um, it, they, they've been kick-started again, and they are very, very important for the association. They're very important for you as members of the association. And you may look at uh, the um, you may look at the associateship, and um, you may look at the associateship and fellowship brochures and think, "Oh my God, I can't do that. That's impossible. Nobody could do that." But uh, Laura Conorton, who I think is here, 
um, has done a really good poster at a, an earlier conference uh, about how she became an associate at the Library Association. It really does take the fear and, and the scary bits out of doing it. So I would urge you to have a look at that. I'd urge you to talk to Laura, talk to other people who've got it. We have a mentoring scheme uh, who are people who have already been through the process, associates and fellows, and they are there to help and reassure and guide and enable and, again, all of those nice uh, metaphors that, that we heard at the beginning. Okay. Professional recognition, um, uh, the, 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 the second slide. Uh, membership shows we're serious about our profession. If we're not serious about the profession, how can we expect anybody else to be serious about it as well? We have to be more self-confident. We have to be more reassured. We have to uh, be more party crashers. We have to say, hey, look, I'm a librarian. I'm Philip and I'm a librarian, and I'm a member of the Library Association of Ireland. You may belong to, I don't know, Royal Society, Chemistry, Geological Society of Ireland, whoever. I belong to professional association too. I am qualified. I have a degree. I have a master's qualification. I don't just stamp books and shelve them. Very important, but I also do lots of other things. And again, we've heard earlier from Sarah Moore all those important things we do. But we do all that, and we should be proud of that, and we should say, hey, I am a member of my association. And if we do that, if we get those n letters after our name, then we can hold our head up, and we can party crash, and we can go to committees, and we can go to meetings, and we will be listened to, and we will be heard. Professional recognition is very important, and I'll leave you to rest, read the rest of that slide. Advocacy and discounts, last slide, uh, well, almost last slide, uh, almost last slide. Advocacy and discounts, we've had the A word several times today and yesterday, advocacy. Advocacy for the association, for profession, advocacy for what we do locally. There's lots of stuff around, there's lots of stuff available. See what other people are doing, learn from their experiences and use it back home to, to bid for, claim for, justify whatever it is uh, you're looking for. And discounts, everyone loves a bargain. Hands up, who doesn't like a bargain? Everyone loves a bargain. If you're a member of the association, you get re uh, reduced attendance fees at the association events, and you get the countdown card. Your membership card is a countdown card, fantastic. Hundreds of discounts, 10% of Hodges Figgis, 10% off in Milano restaurants, loads of discounts, and uh, it's well worth your subscription just for that. And that's, that's the countdown. That has all the listings there of all the fantastic discounts. That's the countdown website. Okay, so here's the hard sell. Join the association. Dead easy, go to the website, uh, libraryassociation.ie, go to the website, and it's there, nice, easy to follow instructions, step one, step two, step three, how to join the association. It couldn't be easier. Honestly, it couldn't be easier. How to contact the association. There's my email address at the bottom, that's me president at libraryassociation.e, your own personal hotline to the president of the Library Association of Ireland. What more could you ask for? I'm also here till, uh, till the close of the conference today, so if you want to complain, suggest, advise, whatever, I'm here, I'm here to listen, please come and approach me. So, join the association, come along to our event, and enjoy. Thank you.